Good morning, y'all. It's me, Ryan Smith, a.k.a. Ryan the Scavenger. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I got a call from my good buddy, Chief Dave Cole from the United States Navy, and he said, I've been trying to call Armor Time for a couple of years, and I want to know how to make chicken penang. So we made a special video just for you, Dave Cole, and all you subscribers out there that want to watch Thailand food cooking. Check it out. Chicken penang. Here we come. Okay, so if you want to make chicken penang, uh, this is the best place if you're from the Kearney, Nebraska area. This is VNTN Oriental Food Market in Grand Island. I'll post the address in the description down below, but this is where you want to come. And then you're going to want to get red curry paste, Mayploy brand. Um, it's just about $4.39. Um, so that's what you want to get. You can get it in a larger jar over here, the uh, two pound one or the 14 ounce one. So this is all you need if you just want to make one helping. And then you want to get Chuck Roy coconut milk or, or Chow Co coconut milk. And this is $2.25 for this. So. Those are two things you want to get, and then I'll show you the rest of the stuff in the rest of the video. All right, so this is for my buddy Dave Cole. Dave wanted to know how to make chicken penang. So here we got Miss Amritai, and these are your ingredients. What do we got here, Miss Amritai? All right, we got chicken, we got onions, red pepper, green pepper, uh, Thai basil, coconut milk, uh, chili, red curry paste um fish sauce, fish sauce. and sugar <laughs> and, and, and a uh, uh, sugar and that's all of our ingredients um yes and this is one whole green pepper this is one whole red is this one whole onion yes and how much how much how many pounds of chicken do you got there i think i got about three pound over here but if you cook for two people you can just use like only a pound and a half okay but this i cook like how many people five okay and then one jar of the chalco coconut milk and i made a video of that where you can get that at the asian store and then how much well i guess we're going to video it how much of the of this are you going to put in can you wait just a minute? Okay, we'll get to that in the video. Go ahead. This is um, olive oil. Olive oil? Yeah, you can just use like... One teaspoon? Yeah. Tablespoon? One. Oh, two, two tablespoons? Two tablespoons, yeah. Yeah. Curry. Yeah. And what, uh, what do you got the stove on? You got it on about uh, five on our electric stove. Five temperature between five and seven. Where's and then the red curry. What do we got here? How much of a scoop are you going to put in there? Uh, two. So there you go. If you want, Dave, this is regular cooking. Just kind of. If you are like spicy. You can add more. Add more. Can you do it later? No. Got to do it right now. Jenny, you want spicy, right? Yeah. Bubbles. If you... But yeah, I want spicy. Cooking for two people, you just use, use only one tablespoon. What if you're cooking for a white person? Um, you just Depends use... Um, a white person. <laughs> you just use... Oh, you did three. Salt and pepper. Yeah, because I cook. So she's for, cooking for this white person. For three pound of chicken. Okay. I'm I'm an Asian white <laughs> girl. You're an Asian white girl. Yeah, I've been okay. Asianized. Why is so slow? All right, now I'm retiring that and in the coconut milk. Just a little bit. Just a little bit at first? Yeah. Do you put in the whole jar eventually? In the end. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. So a little bit there to start out with. And, ooh, man, if you guys, uh, you guys can't see this at home but, or smell this at home, but, man, we are feeling the burn right now. <coughs> oh. <coughs> White people alert. Now adding in the chicken. And of course you want to do this in a walk, right Om? What do you what do you put in? No, I just have to put in that. Oh, okay. Oh, Amritai just pointed out that you want to have some of this. And I did not make a video of this at the Asian store, but Amritai uses Golden Mountain seasoning sauce. And there's a little character if you want to try and find that at the Asian store. But no. More coconut milk now after you stirred it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, can you turn the volume down a little, Herb? And then, how big of a, oh, she's putting a little water in. And that's a 13.5 ounce jar. Um, Dip up. No. And how much water? Oh, is that just to get some of the residual coconut milk out of there? Gotcha. That's a little trick to getting all that coconut milk out of there. All the goodness. How long do you let it cook for? Until they're done. Okay. How long does it usually take? I guess you just gotta look for it. Uh, you can see like that one, still pretty raw, so. Kinda check until it's cooked all the way. All right, now what, Armitai? Two tablespoons of soy sauce. All right, two tablespoons of soy sauce. And again, it's the Golden Mountain. And what do we got now? Fish sauce. Um, two as well? Two, uh, three. <laughs> maybe three. <laughs> Alright, and now we got sugar. Sure. 
Um, now she's got it pretty well cooked. You can see the chicken's kind of set up and ready. Now we're putting in the veggies. One green pepper, one red pepper, and one large onion. I mean, if you cook for two people, you just use like maybe a cup of each. But this is enough for about five, six people? Yeah. As she's saying, you can kind of adjust the recipe accordingly. And the last thing we got is some Thai basil. Hey, we are getting close to being done here, guys. This is kofia long leaf. Uh, if you have, you can put this in. Okay. But if you don't, it's not a big deal. Okay, this gives it a little extra flavor. And you're just shredding it up there, it looks like. And I'll show you guys what a kefir lime leaf tree looks like. You can got we got one right over here. Oh, that's a kefir lime leaf tree. You can also buy this at the Asian store as well. And how many did you put in? About three there. Three, four, five. Mm, smell good, isn't it? Right, try. The, the chef is going to do her taste test here. Yeah? A little more? Sneak little. Oh, a little more one. One means sweet, so put some more sugar in. Not one. 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 I didn't. Thai is a very tonal language. A little more sugar there. And we're about done here, guys. Basil. And how much of a Thai basil? Uh, maybe mm. a handful. Yeah, a couple handfuls there. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And how long do you let that, uh, what do you call that, saute? <laughs> I don't know. How long do you let that cook in for? Basil. Yeah. You just drop in and then it's pretty much done yeah. instantly. So we're done there, huh? There you go. That's chicken panang, Omri Thai Smith style. Everybody say thank you, Omri Thai. Thank you, Omri Thai. Okay, and so what you do is you give yourself a little bit of rice, of course, and then as much helping as you want on the top. And there you go, folks. There it is. Chicken Penang, courtesy of the world's best Thai chef. Look here, Miss Omri Thai. Ah, she's getting shy now. Miss Omri Thai, the best cook in Kearney, Nebraska. All right, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Uh, smash that like and subscribe button down below, like always. Watch some more videos, comment on the video, and share it with your friends and family. All right. We are almost to 800 subscribers. Keep on pushing to 1,000, baby. As always, keep on scavenging.